friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're kicking off another one week one palette. Who is she, right? I literally took like five whole months off. And now all of a sudden I'm going to be uploading two one week one palettes within like a couple weeks of each other. So I know you guys really enjoy these videos and I really do like doing them for you guys as well. So this whole week we are going to be playing with the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. I picked this up during the Sephora sale a couple months ago and I thought about doing a one week one palette on it but I never, I, honestly I didn't think you guys would be that interested in it just because this color story is not for everyone. I don't know how many of you guys actually picked this palette up but I mentioned doing a one week one palette on this during my I think my speed reviews update on um, all my Sephora haul goodies I purchased including this palette and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a one week one palette with this and quite a few of you guys in the comments below said yes so that's what we're going to be doing this week I'm super excited about that before we get started if you like this video while you're watching it please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up it really does help my channel out and other than that if you're excited and you want to see five different looks with this palette right here let's go ahead and get started I do have a whole like first impression swatches review video on this palette so I will have that linked in the eye and down below in case you missed it that I did when I first got it back in December but I figured today for the first day honestly it's a Sunday I wasn't even gonna do my makeup it's actually the Sunday that the Bengals are playing the Chiefs I'm so excited obviously by the time this video is up you guys will know if they won if they went to the Super Bowl I don't think that this is going to be up after the Super Bowl I think it's going to be up before. So hopefully they win today and make it to the Super Bowl again for the second year in a row. We shall see. Um, but I'm just we're just chilling. We're going to have Mike's dad over in a little bit to watch the game, eat some appetizers, and it's going to be a really chill, easy day. So I don't plan on doing like too crazy of an eye look. We're going to keep it pretty neutral today, which is one of the main things I like about this palette is it's very versatile. You have the pinks, the greens, the neutrals. You can do a lot of different things with it. So I went ahead and primed my eyes with my NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. That's pretty much going to be the eyeshadow base I use all week. It's in my project pan. I'm trying to use it up. Um, So let's start off with this Lucy shade right here. And we're probably going to end up deepening the crease also with this face shade. We're going to go into Lucy first. I would love to know if you guys actually picked up this palette or not. I feel like it wasn't a super big success. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I heard all the typical like YouTube people, you know, doing a review on it and buying it and all that. But other than that, I don't know. I just can't really see this being a color story that a lot of people are going to want to dabble in very often. So we're going to go into that face shade now. Oh yeah, that did deepen it a little bit. Um, So yeah, I just didn't know how many of you guys picked it up and if you guys would even be interested in a five looks with it. But Quite a few, like I said, quite a few of you guys said yes, which I was excited about. I haven't reached for this palette in a couple weeks, so it'll be fun to play with it all this week. So those two are blending together very nicely, just giving me a nice neutrally sort of tone into the crease. And then after that, like I said, we're going to go pretty easy and simple. I think I am going to put glitter primer all over my lid. And then I want to try to do a gradient of three different shades. Usually three is a little much for my little tiny eyeballs, but we're going to try it out. I want to put this flutter shade on the very inner portion of my lid and then this Oscar shade in the middle. And then I think I want to take, honestly, Jazzy and Maxi are really close. I think I'm going to take this one, which is Maxi, and I'm going to put that on the outer portion of the lid. My eyelids are pretty small, so I usually try to go in with just two shimmers if I do that, but... We're gonna risk it and try to do three today. So I have all three on my fingers. We got Flutter, we got Oscar, and we have Maxi. We're gonna start with Maxi and just put a little bit on the outer corner and then go in with Oscar and then Flutter. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room. Okay, <laughs> and then we're just gonna keep blending until this looks nice and blended all three together on the lid. Grab a little bit more of each, just kind of go back and forth. I like that. This flutter shade is so pretty and impactful. But these two like Oscar and Maxi shades are looking really nice on the outer corner as well. I'm going to take a little bit of flutter like over here too just because it's sparkly. Add that sparkle a couple like a little bit farther over. Ooh, yeah, I like that. That's looking really pretty. Then we're going to do the same thing on this eye. Start off with Maxi and then Oscar and then flutter. You guys know the drill. Okay, I like how just simple that is. It's nice and understated. It's more neutrally sort of tones, but it's still pretty. It still has a little bit of sparkle because that flutter shade, I like this look a lot. This is definitely a look with this palette that I would make 
very often and I would feel very comfortable wearing in pretty much any situation. So you guys know the drill by now with my one week one palettes. I go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off of camera. Come on and show you the completed look and run down a couple of the items I use, my blush and my lip products. But every other item that I use on my face each day is listed down in the description box. I don't link anything except for like the palette, usually my NYX glitter primer because I use it every day, um, maybe a couple other things, but I can't, I can't link them all because it's just so many items each day. But it is all listed by day for you down in the description box in case you are curious about anything else on my face. So let me go finish my makeup and I'll be right back. Alrighty, and here is the final look for day one for you guys. I really like how it turned out. Like I said, it's just real simple, basic, but in the best way possible. I really love the neutrally sort of tones that Natasha Denona chose to put in this palette. I like the gradient of like lighter to deeper on my lid. Those mattes in the crease are beautiful. That's all I did to finish up the lower lash line was mix together those two mattes, put them along there. I do have ColourPop Flexitarian on as my inner corner highlight. For blush, I use my ColourPop Heart Blush in the shade Sweetheart. I don't know how I feel about this blush, you guys. I feel like in my ColourPop um, video, when I reviewed the Flirty Talk collection, I think this is the shade that I use and I really liked it. And not that I don't like it, but I just feel like it's really sheer. I have to really, really layer it on and then it is a little bit patchy. So I'm not to keep playing with these blushes, but right now I'm like, did I change my mind on them? I thought I liked them and now I'm like a little unsure about that. I'll obviously keep you guys updated. And then for lips, I use my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner, lined my whole lips with it, and then covered it with my Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Serum in the shade Pink Glow. This combination is like fire. I love it so much. So that is all for day one. I'm excited to keep playing with this beautiful palette for you guys. So let's move on to day two. All right, for today, I think I want to do a little combination of the pink and green together. So first, we're going to start off with this Holly shade right here on a rougher 16 and just start buffing that into the crease. Going to go ahead and add a second layer. Yeah, this one's a pretty light pink shade. You do have to build it a little bit, but I don't mind that. It actually almost turns up a little lighter on your eyelid, at least on mine, than it does in the pan. I don't love that, but it's not the end of the world. All right, and then to deepen it, we're gonna take this bell shade right here on a BK Beauty 206, and we're gonna start by putting that in the outer corner, maybe. <laughs> hmm, okay, well that's definitely not deepening it like I thought it was going to. These look pretty identical on the lid. I was not expecting, look at that, that's like barely showing up, what the heck? Again, it looks way deeper in the pan than it does on my eyeballs. Okay, well, we're gonna take a refer 02. It's kind of dirty on this side, but we're just gonna flip it over and use the less dirty side. I'm gonna go back in that bell shade and try to pack it on. Yeah, there's way more pigmentation on the brush now. Yeah, this is not deepening like I thought I was going to. Huh. I need to change up my eye look, what I had planned. Okay, I'm really not liking that these two are essentially looking the same exact on my lids, even though you can tell there's a pretty big difference in the pan. Um, we're just gonna stick with the eye look I had planned and see where it takes me. So I'm gonna put an X Glitter Primer on the inner portion of my eyelid, and we're gonna take this Palladium shade down here. It's like a green shimmery shade, and we're gonna put that on the lid as well. Just a really light shimmery green. Ooh, that's pretty. Definitely giving me watermelon vibes, which I, I'm not mad at. <laughs> I feel like it might be kind of hard to mesh those two together. We will see in a second. <laughs> the shade is really pretty though. It's light, minty green. Okay, back in with Belle, that deeper um, pink shade, I almost said blue. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so that's actually mixing together on my outer corner better than I thought I was going to, which is good. I thought they would be hard to mesh together, but no. Okay. All right, and then I am gonna put a smidge more holly just to make sure there's no harsh lines up here. And that was the eye look I had in mind. Um, I did think the outer corner was gonna be a little deeper and darker, but I think it works only because that palladium green shade is so like light and icy. I think if I had a darker shimmer shade, this look would not be working out as well as it maybe possibly is. I also do want to put a pop of green on the lower lash line. So when I come back with my completed look, my plan is to probably mix together fringe and sage and put that on my lower lash line instead of the pink, just to kind of bring out the green and the shimmer. So that is what I have planned. Let me go ahead and finish my makeup and I'll be right back to show you the completed look. 
All right, and here's the final look for day two for you guys. I like it. It's definitely not my favorite look I've ever done. Um, I did go ahead and use those two green shades along the lower lash line. Like I said, I was going to. I kind of regret doing that a little bit. It's not like the worst lower lash line, but I don't know. I just feel like it's a little bit random because these are more sea foamy green and this is more like icy sort of green, but it's okay. It's not like the worst look ever, but it's definitely not my favorite. To finish up the rest of my look, I used my Bare Minerals Bronzer in the shade Kiss of Pink for blush. And then on my lips, I just threw on my Natasha Denona, um, my dream lipstick in the shade Natasha. I love this lipstick. It's so stinking good. So overall, I'm hoping I like my other looks coming up a little bit more. Like I said, this is pretty. I mean, I like the pink and green together. That palladium shade on my lid really is a beautiful shade. But um, yeah, I don't know. Just not my favorite look. But I also am pretty harsh on my looks. So you guys might like it. You'll have to let me know down below in the comments. But that is all for day two. Let's move on to day three. Okay, doke. So for day three, we're going to stick with almost all, actually all greens. I don't know why I said almost. Pretty much all greens. I figure we're just going to do a green little halo eye with some shimmers nothing too crazy but i want to dabble in the greens today so we're going to start off with this fringe shade right here and put that into the crease this is just a really light almost minty sort of green you do have to build it a little bit this is a second layer we'll keep it there <laughs> i was trying to decide if i was going to do a third layer or not but we're going to use a different shade so i think i'm good these are like really powdery mattes I don't remember Natasha Denona mattes being this powdery. I feel like my uh, opinion on this palette is kind of going down a little bit throughout the week, but we're not gonna judge it too hard quite yet. <laughs> All right, next up I wanna take this sage shade right here. We'll see if these two greens are kind of like these two pinks where they look the same on the eye. I don't remember. I know I've used them together before, but I don't remember. So let's see if this will deepen it okay okay it, it did it deepened it a little bit which is exactly what I wanted it to do so I wish the pinks were like that though again super powdery like look at how much powder is coming up on that shade I never remember her mattes doing that in the past maybe because these are more like pastel -y shades I don't really know all right so that's looking good I am now going to put glitter primer all over my lid what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put this ox shade on the inner and outer portion of my lid. And then I'm gonna put this Marlin shade in the middle as like a shimmer halo eye. But I don't know, I just swatched them. There is a difference in the two. I don't know if there's gonna be enough of a difference. So if there's not, which I don't think there's gonna be, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of palladium in the middle on top of Marlin. That was a lot of information thrown at you guys. Let me just show you. For anyone who was keeping up, um, my Bengals lost. <laughs> I was really, really sad they lost against the Kansas. City Chiefs, which is fine. They're a really good team, but I wanted to update you in case you were curious because I mentioned that I was watching the game earlier in the video, but they lost. They're not going back to the Super Bowl. Hopefully next year. <laughs> okay, we're going to get the Ox shade. Put it here as well as in the inner corner. I hope you can't hear Mike talking in the background. He's on a meeting. <laughs> He's talking really loud, so hopefully you can't. Now we're going to take that Marlin shade. Okay, there's actually a little bit more of a difference between the two than I thought there was going to be. But I'm probably still going to have to take a little bit of that palladium and just tap that in the middle as well, just to lighten it up. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted. A little bit more ox to deepen that up. Ooh. Okay, I'm liking that. That's really pretty. Well, let's do the same thing on the other eye. Oh no, I'm getting kind of some fallout on this white shirt. That's not good. I'm already wearing nursing shirts, even though I haven't had her yet. They're just real comfy. So I'm gonna take that Marlin shade because that's what I did the first time, but honestly, you could probably skip that step and just go in with palladium if you were trying to recreate this. But I just like to do the same thing on both eyes to make sure they are 100% even. Okay, I really like how that looks. I think that looks really pretty. I like the the different shimmers together on the lid. I kind of want to add a brown wing liner, but I'm not really doing anything today. I'm going to go see my friend and her little baby boy who was born a couple months ago. I haven't gotten a chance to meet him yet. So we're going to go have some lunch. I'm going to go take her lunch. Um, and I might film another video, but other than that, I'm just doing like laundry and chores around the house. So 
I don't know. I mean, not that brown wing liner is like that big of a deal. It's, it's literally not a big deal, but it just like elevates the look and makes it a little more fancy schmancy in my humble opinion. So probably won't add it. I might, I don't know. You'll see when I come back, but let me go finish my makeup. I'll be right back. All right, and here's the final look for day three for you guys. I really like how it turned out. It's pleasant difference from yesterday's look. I just did not love how that one turned out, sadly, but this one is really pretty. I want to say, have I made this look before with this palette on a video? I might have. I'm sorry if that is the case, but here's it up close a little bit more for you guys. I think all these green tones just coincide very, very nicely together. I actually think I had better luck with the green shades than the pink shades, which is surprising because you'd think green would be a little bit harder to formulate, but I really, really like how this look turned out. Obviously, I did not opt for the brown wing liner. I just don't have that fancy plans today, uh, but I do think this look would benefit and look good with a brown wing liner. For blush, I went ahead and used my e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in the shade Always Hazy. I used this in my most recent Shop My Stash Get Ready With Me, and when I tried to go link it from the e.l.f.'s website, they don't have this shade anymore, and I don't know why, because it's a really, really pretty shade. I mean, tons of other makeup brands have this, like, warm, nudie sort of blush shade, so, like, you don't need this specific one, but it's really affordable and really pretty, so that's a little bit of a bummer. And then my lip combination is extra today. <laughs> I went in with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in the shade Iconic Nude. I just lined my lips. I then went in with my Juvia's Place Lipstick in the shade Muted, and it just was a little deeper than I was expecting it. So then I topped it with the Dose of Colors Lip Gloss in the shade Can You Not. Still not as light as I wanted it to be, but it's not the end of the world. I just wanted a lot of like neutrally brown tones on the rest of my face to make my eyes like the focal point. So I'm really pleasantly surprised with this look and I'm excited to make two more for you guys. So let's keep this party rolling and move on to day four. Alrighty, for day four, we're going to get back into the more pinky tones. We're gonna start off, we're gonna start off with Holly and then eventually go to Belle. I know they look exactly the same on the eyes. I probably don't need to do both of them, but I am. Just gonna add a little bit of holly into the crease. And I'm using a refer 16, and now I'm just gonna dip into Belle because they're essentially like the same shades. <laughs> I really wish there was more differentiation on the lid between the two of these, but this is gonna be a real simple look, guys. <laughs> just to uh, forewarn you. So next we're gonna put glitter primer all over my lid. I then wanna take this flare shade up here in the corner and put it all over my lid, but I also wanna top it with this flutter shade and just make it real sparkly, hopefully. I'm a little nervous to um, like layer those two sparkles only because I don't want that flutter shade to give me a bunch of fallout on my face. We shall see, hopefully not. But we're gonna start with that flare shade and just lightly pack it on all over the lid. And then take that flutter shade. Ooh, yeah. And just tap it on top. Yes, that's exactly, it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Just like lightening this pink shade a little bit, giving it a little extra va-va-voom, extra sparkle. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty. Same thing on this eye. I don't love the tone of this flare shade, personally. That's why I wanted to use that flutter shade to lighten it. It's pretty, but it almost like, I don't know, it almost makes me feel like I look like I'm sick. <laughs> Just the pinkiness of it. But that is definitely like a preference skin tone kind of thing. I'm sure this looks really beautiful on a bunch of other people. I'm gonna hit the crease with that bell shade one more time. All right, I am definitely getting some fallout from that flutter shade. I had a feeling that would happen only because I was putting it on top of another shimmer and not more glitter primer, you know what I mean? There's not really much for it to stick to, but I really like how this looks. I think it looks really pretty. I think I am going to add a brown wing liner though. Yes, I'm gonna do that, the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. And here is the final look for day four for you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I actually really, really like how this look turned out. I think it looks really pretty. I think those two shimmer shades together just look so sparkly and dimensional and just like really, really pretty in my humble opinion. I did go ahead and add the brown wing liner like I said I was going to, and I used my roller liner in the shade brown. Yeah, just brown. I love this stuff. This is my second one I've been through. It's a really good one. To finish up the lower lash line, I totally forgot to tell you that yesterday. I'm sorry, but today to finish up the lower lash line, all I did was mix together those two pink mattes very lightly and ran it along there. I didn't want 
too much because I didn't want to make it like look like I was sick but I feel like I just put like a really light layer in it, it looks pretty um for blush I went ahead and used my Odin's Eye Soul Main Sunlight Love Blusher in the shade Sunset Clouds I thought it matched this pink eye look perfectly and then on my lips I went real simple and I just used my Fenty Beauty lip gloss or gloss balm in the shade Sweet Mouth not a whole lot going on on the lips. I didn't put a lip liner or anything. I just wasn't feeling it. I wanted to keep the lips pretty subdued today. So that was all. That was my look for day four. I have one more day left. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what kind of look I'm going to do. So I guess we will both find out together tomorrow for me and um, in like two seconds for you. So let's move on to day five. Alrighty, we're here for the last day. I did not know what I wanted to do for this last day look until last night I was scrolling through all of my pictures because I have like 5,000 pictures on my phone and I was trying to go through them and delete pictures that I don't need anymore because I'm about to have a baby so I'm gonna be probably taking at least 5,000 pictures um, her first year of life. I was going through them and I like to take pictures of my eye looks just so I know like what I created and I can either look back for inspiration or recreate something and a couple years ago I mean it was a while ago at this point and I don't even remember what palette I was using but I did a look where I took a shadow and just made like a colorful shadow liner and the rest of my eye look was really subdued and simple and I was really inspired by that so I think I want to try to do that today I think we're going to stick to this Lucy shade right here and then this um flutter shade all over my lid and I think I want to take this evergreen shade it's a cream to powder I think I want to use that one as my colorful liner I have absolutely no idea if I'm going to end up liking this look or anything like that I might totally hate it but we're going to try it out try something new I do work after this so I'm hoping I don't hate it but we will see so I'm gonna take that Lucy shade that just like real light transition shade and put it into my crease fluff it in there okay we're gonna leave it at one layer for now I might go back and layer it up and make it a little deeper later but I like that for now. I hope the order of steps I want to do this in isn't going to like mess me up and get me glitter all over my face. I'm hoping not, but next we're gonna take a glitter primer and we're gonna take that flutter shade and we're just gonna put that all over our lid. There's not a lot of base pigmentation to flutter, but I kind of just want it to be like really light and sparkly anyways. I don't really want a ton of color. So I'm hoping this looks how I think I'm, it's going to. So we're just gonna take that shade and lightly tap it in here bring it up into the crease a little bit because why not the more shimmer and glimmer the better in my opinion and that shade is holding its own even though there isn't a ton of base pigmentation to it it's looking good by itself on the lid which i'm glad about i think the glitter primer helps just like stick it on there it's holding its own for sure and yeah like i said i think i'm gonna take that evergreen shade because it's the darkest one that isn't a metallic all the other deep dark shades are all metallics this is a cream to powder not my favorite formulation from natasha denona so we're gonna take it on a flat definer brush this is just an olimar cosmetics brush i got in ipsy i believe a while ago <laughs> and we're just going to start by stamping this on i'm not gonna do a wing at first i don't know if i'm gonna add a wing yet so i'll decide in a little bit we're just gonna stamp this green shade all along our lash line. I might have to make it a little bit thicker though. I kind of want it to show up a little bit more. I guess I am using like a real flat thin brush so that makes sense. I'm also kind of destroying this evergreen shade by like putting this brush in there but because it's a cream to powder I'm thinking yeah I can just like repress it down in there. I don't think I want to make a wing. I'm gonna take this BK Beauty 204 brush. It's just a little bit like thicker of a more pencil-y sort of brush. I don't really know how to explain it. And I just want to smudge this a little bit. Make it a little bit thicker, a little smokier. I want you to be able to see the green a little bit more. I don't know if you're really going to be able to see the green once I put mascara on. I think you will be able to. I mean, my lashes aren't that thick and bold and long, unfortunately. I do like that. That is kind of what I was envisioning sort of. I think I like it. And I plan on putting that green along the lower lash line as well, seeing how that looks. I don't know. You'll see how it ends um, when I come back with my completed look. I was real confused, like I said, on what look to do today. And uh, I like this palette, but I don't know. I just wasn't feeling super inspired by it this week. 
So we're gonna leave the eye look there for now and we'll be right back with the completed look. Alrighty, and here's the final look for day five for you guys. The good news is I like my eye look. The bad news is pretty much everything else on my face I really dislike. Like I said in the beginning of the video, everything else I use will be listed by each day down in the description box in case you are curious. But just the combination of products I use today, like primer, foundation, concealer, powder, my bronzer got patchy on me, which like never happens, the bronzer I use, the L'Oreal Lumi one. Um, I look just look really dry and cakey and the, the combination of products, base products I used uh, are not winners today. So ignore that, please. I'm very unhappy with my base, but what can you do? And like my concealer and like the powder, Ooh, not good. Okay, anyways, here's the final look. I opted for not a green lower lash line. I just wasn't feeling it. So I just put that Lucy shade right? Yeah. Or no, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, Lucy, yes. <laughs> the Lucy shade along there. I just realized I didn't do an inner corner or grab on highlight. That's okay. I'll survive. But I actually really do like the pop of green on the upper lash line. It's very subtle. Can't really see it too, too much, but it's there. You know what I mean? For blush, I use my Patrick Ta. This is his monochromatic moment blush in the shade She's Passionate. I thought it matched like the shirt and all that. And then to keep with the vibes, um, another day, another Fenty Gloss Bomb, but this one is the cream one in the shade Fenty Glow. So that was my one week one palette with the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. I wouldn't say I necessarily struggled with the eye looks that I made, but I just struggled coming up with eye looks. This is definitely not my favorite Natasha Denona palette. I like it, I think it's pretty. I don't know how much like use I'm gonna get out of it. I'm not gonna be reaching for this palette all the time. I do like the five looks I came up with, but yeah, I don't know. Something about this palette is definitely not my favorite. So definitely keep that in mind if you have your eye on this, maybe you wanna pick it up. I would wait for a sale. I don't think I would pay full price for this. I did get this on sale during the Sephora sale, so I got 20% off, thankfully. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I liked all the five looks and I do like this palette. It's just not a favorite that I'm gonna be reaching for all the time. Let me know down below in the comments, which of the five days was your favorite, please? I love hearing that from you guys down below. And do you own this palette? Do you have your eye on it? Are you gonna pick it up in the future? Let me know, you guys know I am nosy. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much, you're awesome, I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.